Tom Kempel from the University of British Columbia. The special double issue that Austin Harrington and I co-edited for Theory, Culture and Society in 2012 for the annual review takes its departure from the special section I edited for the 2007 annual review on Georg Zimmel's ideas about modern life as a liminal experience and on his lesser known writings about the aesthetic, ethical and metaphysical limits of existence. My introduction there to the 12 new translations by myself and others goes beyond the usual focus on Zimmel's work concerning the themes of individuation and interaction to show how his body of writings offers a kind of bridge and door to the experience of what I call allosociality, a concern with how actors, actions, and objects are oriented to, shaped within, and taken over by others including how social life is subject to cybernetic, cinematic, and molecular control today. Partly inspired by the path-breaking translations and commentaries on Zimmel for TCS over the years by David Frisbee, who died in 2010, Austin and I worked together during my study leave in Zimmel's native Berlin, soliciting essays from 14 scholars stressing the metaphysical strains of Zimmel's unique way of addressing philosophical questions through sociological observations and of combining impressionistic insights with systematic reflections. In addition to showcasing the new scholarship, we were also motivated by the appearance of the first translations of Zimmel's monumental work from 1908, Sociology, Investigations into the Forms of Association, parts of which will be familiar to many English-speaking readers, as well as his final masterpiece from 1918, View of Life, and the completion of the 24 volumes of the Zimmel Gesamtausgabe, or Collected of Works. To illustrate some of the themes addressed by our contributors, I translated a selection of Zimmel's lesser-known and anonymously published writings between 1897 and 1902 for the journal Jugend, a venue for creative writers, poets, musicians, and avant-garde artists from the countercultural Jugendstil or Art Nouveau movement, some of whose writings and designs accompany Zimmel's texts. These pieces often anticipate or ironically undermine the more conventional treatment of sociological themes that Zimmel addresses elsewhere, such as the comical sketch Beyond Beauty and the poem Only a Bridge as well as the four allegorical, anecdotal, and experimental vignettes on money, lies, happiness, and acting that I selected from among the series Zimmel collectively titled Moment Builder Subspecie Eternitatis, or Snapshots Under the Aspect of Eternity. In the course of my work on this double issue, Zimmel's ideas on the play of fate and contingency in everyday experience came to life for me when one of my undergraduate students here in Vancouver surprised me by showing me a snapshot of Zimmel at a garden party in Berlin's West End in the summer of 1914, taken just before the outbreak of the war and right around the time when he was preparing to make the move to Strasbourg for his first permanent full-time university post. As it happens, Zimmel's best friend, the political economist Ignaz Jastrow, is the grandfather of a woman my student had befriended on the ski slopes of British Columbia. I hope you enjoy reading the special issue as much as I enjoy putting it together. Thank you.